G'day guys, this is Tia, and welcome back to the channel. If you missed yesterday's video, I'll link it in the top right of the screen, but basically I did the exact same thing in that video that I'm going to do in this one. I'm going to be completing the new event, A Colossal Problem, aka Killing Earl Williams, the new toughest endgame raid boss in Fallout 76. In this video I'll be fighting him for the first time on my Heavy Gunner build, whereas yesterday I fought him on my Commando build for the first time. In summary, these videos are just to see if my builds are able to solo Earl and to serve as a baseline for future fights on him. Basically, I will be solo and using no cams or buffs at the moment, and no bullshit magic weaponry to artificially boost my damage. You know, because I'm not a parasite and have morals. But yes, friendly reminder that this build is going to be linked in the description for all of you to copy if you are interested in that. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright, g'day guys, here I am with my stealth commando. Firstly, I'm just going to show you guys how to actually place the nuke properly. That'll give you enough space to actually get in the mine without killing yourself due to radiation. Here's Monongah Mine all the way up here. And what we want to do is just place it around the sunny top station, a little bit lower than that. See where my marker is? Right in the middle of this crosshair right here next to the road. That is pretty much the perfect spot to place that nuke for this event. This will allow you to not be in the radiation as you fast travel to it, and so that when you actually walk into the mine itself, you're not so irradiated. So the stealth commando went bloody amazingly. Let's see how we go with the pair armor heavy. This is the armor I'm rocking. Full set of strangle heart. And I'm going to be primarily using this bloodied faster fire at LMG. Probably switching over to this. Don't know. See how it goes, and this is the build that I'm currently rocking with it. So there we go. Oh yep, and also my effects. There is nothing out of the ordinary. Alrighty, it just cleared. Let's see how we fucking go. Not too confident on this thing because I've seen some other people play heavy gunner down here, and they went woefully bad. But we'll see. Woefully bad. Try and cripple his legs, see how that does. Oh, this is a bit better actually. Just bouncing some of the splash damage onto him. No, you know, that's not bad. It seems like the Gatling Plasma is the way to go for this. Jesus. Of course it fucking breaks. And of course he charges at me when I fucking break it, Jesus. Fair that quickly. Oh, this is a fun bit when I kill myself due to these little fuckers. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's a fucking army of these little fuckers about to feast on me. Oh man, you're really gonna stagger me? I don't picture me doing very well without a Gatling Plasma. <laughs> The build's good and all, but it can't compete with a fucking raid boss like this, in all honesty. Come on, strip his legs. Stop spawning your little fucking minions, mate. He just spawned in more. Jesus Christ, that guy just walked in front of me. That would be very bad. Can we get over this phase now? Can we just fuck off? Holy shit, mate. Where can I go? Surely there's somewhere I can fucking jump onto. That won't work. Get out of that DOT. Fuck me. <laughs> they are relentless. Oh, no, no, no. One spawned right on fucking top of me. Why are they there? <laughs> fucking like that, you 
FNL's back to full health. Fucking beautiful. That's what I want. Maybe I can get up here. Ooh. Cheese spot. I can out pack those. Chase spot. I'm gonna chase it here. <laughs> Fuck you, Bethesda. Not really. <laughs> Fuck you, Earl. <laughs> yep, that's how I'm doing this. I do not give a flying fuck. I found my little cheese spot. There is no way in hell this fella, this character, is beating this thing. Like, without being a little cuckle. Let's be real. Get away from me, you fucking cunt. Get the fuck away from me. Holy shit, okay. Whew! Jesus fucking Christ. Got a useless weapon as well. Beauty. Fucking go! Skate, skate, motherfucker, you are what you eat. Alright, and we are out of there. I got the cursed shovel, it seems. Fuck you, little fellas. Die. The cursed shovel. You! Yeah. Cool. Excuse me, could you just fucking not? Alright, so that was my. Heavy guns attempt. Nothing in me. Bar there. Another look at the build. You can find all of this on my channel. I've got an actual dedicated build on all of this stuff. So yeah, <laughs> moving on. Okay, okay. God damn, that was quite the experience. And I definitely only beat that due to me accidentally finding a little platform where the Wendigo spawns could not attack me. <laughs> this meant I could focus on Earl, which was just pure dumb luck on my behalf. Additionally, the only reason I was able to stand up there and just tank the pure brunt attacks of Earl was because that's the sole purpose of my power armor build, tanking as much damage as possible. I think it's safe to say that my build succeeded in its goal. <laughs> I would also like to point out that the explosive Gatling Plasma is definitely an amazing choice of heavy weaponry to fight Earl with. Since he is not flying around like a fuckwit like the Scorch Beast Queen, our explosive projectiles actually deal the intended damage instead of turning into fucking snowballs. <laughs> But yes, I think a, I could have done just fine with my bloodied faster fire rate LMG, it would have just taken way, way longer. Anyways ladies and gentlemen, again a friendly reminder that I now have a Patreon, and I'd like to thank my new pledges as well, that being Soulstars and Historia. Soulstars joined the Aesir rank, and Historia is one of the supporters. Also for the supporter rank we have Pie Mutton. thank you for joining mate. Thank you so much for going that extra mile, the support is insanely helpful, I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video then be sure to drop a like, if you're new here please do subscribe. We are getting super super close to our 10k goal, and as always all of my social media links and discord are down in the description. I've been Tia, and I'll catch you in the next one. Welcome to Valhalla.